okay so the next topic as part of preparation for um, introductory exam is namyo renge kyo so let's let's quickly go through it this is something which is very core to nichiren dashan in buddhism this is something we chant on a daily basis and um, namyo renge kyo is the essence of buddhism and it is a fundamental law that pervades the entire universe and all our life this is something um which is perceived by nature in dashanin for resolving the suffering of all humanity so as we already know that since early days nature in dashanin was very passionate was very high seeking spirit um to uh, and wanted to become a wisest person in japan but the reason for becoming the wisest person is so that he can resolve the suffering of all humanity with that intent he research studied for 20 plus years and after a lot of study he came to the conclusion <clears throat> that lotus sutra is a supreme teaching of gautam buddha and the essence of the uh, lotus sutra or all the benefits of the lotus sutra can be obtained if we chant the title of the lotus sutra and that is something which is perceived by nichiren daishonin it was something which was not there before what he did on top of the title of lotus sutra which is myoho renge kyo he added a sanskrit word nam nam means devotion respectful and that's how the mantra namyo renge kyo came into existence this law of namyo renge kyo is the essential principle or means for attaining buddhahood so Uh, all all buddhas in the past all buddhas in future whosoever has attained buddhahood uh, they have attained because of the law of namyo renge kyo and namyo renge kyo is the enlightened state of buddhahood this is the true identity of nichiren daishonin and when we chant namyo renge kyo with faith so faith is definitely the most important thing so just like all the buddhas in past and whosoever gonna gain uh, attain buddhahood in the future all will attain buddhahood through faith in namyo renge kyo similarly when we chant namyo renge kyo with faith we can manifest the life state of buddhahood nichiren daishonin made gohan zon um, as part of our buddhist practice so that we ordinary people can manifest namyo renge kyo in our lives and attain buddhahood and when we believe in gohan zon and accepting that it is inherent in our own lives we can tap the mystic law that resides within us and manifest our inherent buddhahood so everything starts with faith so uh, we have to chant with faith we have to believe in gohan zon that gohan zon is not something which is outside our life but it is part of our life uh, and it is inherent in each of our lives and when we do that we can bring forth in our lives wonderful benefit and good fortune and triumph over hardships through our practice of the mystic law so this is the significance of namyo renge kyo now let's quickly go through uh, the technical meaning of namyo renge kyo so as we already discussed nam means uh, to devote oneself to be respectful myo ho consists of two words myo and ho myo is the mystic nature of life which is unseen which is something intangible which is latent which is uh, which cannot be understood through intellectual means myo is something which is also called an enlightened world of buddhahood myo also means to open to revive and to be fully endowed with the qualities we need to develop our lives and what is ho ho is the tangible phenomena which is concrete which can be which is visible um and which is manifested in the reality of life so ho is also known as the delusion state of life and myo is the enlightened state of life so when we mix myo and ho so what we are doing is we are saying that our life is something which is enlightened which is pure which is opened up at the same time 
it it is something which at the same time contains the diluted state or the fundamental darkness so kind of a concept of good in bad bad in good that's how you can also relate to it um so if i combine myo and ho so we get myo ho which expresses both the enlightened nature of a buddha and the deluded nature of an ordinary person and essentially both are nothing but a same person so i am the myo i am the ho if i combine myo ho so that is the reality of my life now renge renge literally means lotus flower lotus flower has a unique property that it bloom and seed at the same time this blooming and seeding at the same time uh, signify the law of cause and effect so as per buddhism as soon as you create any cause uh, and how we create cause we create cause through whatever we think whatever we talk and whatever action we do in our life so whatever cause we create as soon as the cause is created the effect is also seeded then and there only that is blooming so think of it like that cause is equivalent to blooming and effect is like a seeding so whenever we create any cause so that is equivalent to blooming that is something which we can see because it is above the above the water above the muddy water and seeding is something that happens uh inside the inside the pond which is not visible similarly but it is happening right then and there similarly in our life as soon as we create cause effect is seeded however rest assured that this seed this effect will definitely sprout that will definitely manifest in the reality of life sooner or later and that lotus also symbol symbol is uh, symbol symbolizes the power inherent in all human beings just like lotus water water lotus can bloom in the muddy water similarly we can bloom and be prosperous amid difficult circumstances and challenges kyo kyo means sutra kyo means voice kyo means teaching of the buddha and uh, so technically when i say namyo ho renge kyo it state that i devote my life to the mystic law of cause and effect and to the teaching of the buddha so this is it this is about namyo ho renge kyo um i am sure this will be super helpful for everyone thank you so much